You know what today is, people. Picking up the 4080 time. This people, and it looks like it's like 60% box, 40% product. This thing is humongous. It's wrapped like it's a nuclear device. Uh, just picked it up from the store and uh, it's heavy. This thing is kind of heavy, man. It's got some weight to it. Um, so we'll see uh, how it performs back at the uh, back at the uh, office. All right, people. Well, after speaking to Best Buy for about 10 minutes, uh, basically trying to get my money back from paying $1,200 cash for the credit card, and then there was a $25 difference, but because the Best Buy employee said, okay, it's not in the system yet, we can't give you some cash back, we can't give you your money back for the difference, you have to talk to Best Buy. So guys, if you fall into this situation, you need to call up Best Buy Corporate, and they will give you a $25 uh, gift card for the difference for the 4080 uh, where you're gonna pay what $1,200 minus the you know the, whatever discount it is mine came out to like $1,074 and something cents 46 cents with tax included and all that stuff okay and I paid $1,200 in cash so yeah there's a difference so I just want to let you guys know that that's the process you probably have to take okay so now for the unboxing video from what everyone's been waiting for we're gonna unbox the 4080 uh, graphics card, so I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, so we don't have, I don't exactly have a, a ton of tools. Oh. So as you can see, this is a humongous box, and it says right here in the front, tear here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna tear, which we did. Um, okay, what? Well, it also says on this side, tear here. So we're going to go ahead and tear there as well. This thing is massive. Like I'm pretty sure 60% of the money goes to the actual cardboard and the box itself and 40% goes to the actual product for the teraflops and the bus and all the, the goodies and all the dies and all that that goes into the graphics card. So to get into this thing I heard it's kind of like a little bit of a mission. So it said tear there. I don't know if we if we have to just push or we have to pull. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, so here we pull this back, and that reveals a beautiful graphics card right in front of you. Dude, that is so sick. Oh my god. All right, so here if we actually take the, gra the graphics card out from its case. Oh my god, this thing is humongous. Look at this. God, the weight of it too. Wow. Uh, so you can see here. PCIe input, pop that off, um, you can see right here, HDMI's, and then we've got the display DP's as well, display port inputs, so it shows here we've got four, uh, sorry, one HDMI and three display port inputs, you can see all this venting right here which is nice for cooling. Um, Beautifully designed card, I gotta say. There's a 4080 in front of it. And then the connectors. So it has a one pin connector. Right here, it's kinda hard to, to hold and, and point at the same time. It is right there, one pin connector. There we go. All right, what else comes in the box? Okay, another little cardboard, oh, nice little thing pops out, and here it is. This is the main, oh, I'm sorry, I kind of rip into things, I'm a bad habit. So it's got a free, free plug there, into a one pin connector. I believe it's a two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, it's a 12 pin connector. Uh, right here. here and remember we need to make sure it clips a lot of people getting uh, fire issues and burning and all that is because their pin connectors are not pushed in all the way so you've really got to push it in so it clicks 
it doesn't click. That's the problem. There's no click. So you don't know if it's really in there, if it's seated correctly. Okay, there it is. There's the click. So it does have a kind of a metallic y, soundy kind of click, even though it's plastic. But you'd want it to click, okay? Before anything, okay? Now let's move on to the actual PC itself and installing it. Now we do have two connected already, uh, but I was told it's not good to use a pigtail, which means you basically have one plug merging off another, which is spliced in. They said it's good to have individual plugs to increase the power to go through, to decrease the resistance. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have individual um, eight pin connectors going into each of the plugs. So we got two already, already hooked up to the power supply, as you can see. Um, if we can zoom in a little bit here, you can see the inputs right here. Uh, we have a VGA we need to get into, which is this one right here. You guys can see that. This is what we need to plug into. Uh, we already have two coming out. So. And how it says in the options in the manual, it basically says we're supposed to have the, so how it separates, that part goes into the graphics card, okay? The part that's fixed, so it's all fixed, that goes into the adapter, into the power supply, the PU, okay? All right, so we just need to find a way to get our little fingers through here. My fingers are not that small, but. There we go. Where it says VGA. Make sure it clicks, which it did, which is nice. All right. All right, so that's plugged in. Now next, I think we need two screws to hold this bad boy in. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to basically get the graphics card in line. Like so. We're going to figure out where the PCIe slot goes. And then we're just going to firmly press it down. Once we have it all in line. Here it is. Click. Okay. Seems pretty good. Next is the tricky part. is plugging in. So we can do it one by one. So we need to figure out where it goes. So there's one. For this guy right here. I'm using an EVGA power supply and then just want to make sure we hear that click. Make sure it's connected correctly, yes. But people are not correct, connecting correctly. Again, here, connected. Make sure it's seated correctly. Again, all of them. Double check, even triple check your work just to make sure. And make sure that if you have pigtails that they are not plugged in. Make sure you just plug it into the main primary and not the pigtails, okay? Okay, that seems to be plugged in pretty good. Uh, we do have an excessive amount of wire just hanging. So we're gonna have to do some kind of a wire tuck tidy that up yeah it's ridiculous but it's what it is okay now last thing that needs to get done is this
Yes, this right here. So this, we got screw this in. Okay, so you might have to pull back in the sheet metal here. Okay, yeah, you might have to pry back in the sheet metal here. What I'm talking about is this. This? No, it's not like, I won't say this is a two man job or two person job, but it is tricky. Okay, so that. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, this kit. Either the metal is kind of short or it's my case, but it's like you gotta use one hand and you pull the sheet metal back towards you, but then Yeah, you gotta give it some force, man. All right, so, you guys are probably confused what I'm saying. Look, you see how the holes are not lined up? Yeah, you gotta pull the actual desktop with the sheet metal. You gotta push it, compress it in, at the same time as put this freaking screw in. Oh, shit. A lot easier if you have an extra pair of hands. Because someone just holds it there for you and then that would give you the clearance to go ahead and you know In there, I've got one in there at least for sure. Move on to our next one. We're using a flat headed screw, so we have to change it up from Phillips. Uh, but let's go ahead and just, just kind of pry it in there for now. Okay, kind of just hold it there. Okay. As you guys can see, it is secured. Nice. All right. Now that should not fall. <laughs> it should be snug in there. So we lift it up. There it is. All right, so we've got it properly installed now. And we have all the connectors in here. Yeah, it looks, it looks a little bit mismanaged. Looks a little bit untidy to the trained eye. <laughs> but it's in there, okay? It's definitely in there. It's plugged in there correctly. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and Plug this bad boy in. Like so. And then we can plug in our DP into the actual graphics card itself. Boom. We have a secondary for our secondary monitor. We have three monitors, but I only run two right now. You know? And then HDMI cord, 
Nah, we don't really need to plug that in. We can run two, because I've got a 240 hertz monitor and a 360 hertz monitor. So, all right. And it pops the screen on, nicely done. Let's just go ahead and put our password in. There it is, there's me, hello people. Now let's get into the graphical settings for a game and go over some of the, uh, the stuff. So it says here that G-Sync is already connected. So that's already nice. So already verified there's a 4080 graphics card. Okay, nice. Um, let's go to uh, device settings. So we go to device manager. And then we need to go over to where it says display adapters. So we need to disable Intel because that's the Intel graphics card is built in. We don't need that. But we do need our RTX 4080. Let's go to an update. It says it has the best drivers already. Now if we go over to NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA control panel. And as you can see, the, the GeForce Experience has identified it needs a driver. It is currently downloading a driver right now as we speak. Uh, and this is what you're going to get with the NVIDIA Experience versus the Dell and AMD. Uh, you're just not you're not going to get like the driver support as much. You will still get it, obviously, but it's not going to be as good. I feel like that's what you pay more for the graphics card through NVIDIA is because you get the support. You know, everything is just so well synced. Uh, so right now it's downloading the driver we need, Studio Driver, yep. And then we can hopefully get into the, um, adjust the performance settings before we can get into a game. Preparing package. Alright. Okay, next is the NVIDIA display settings. Uh, we got it at balanced right now. Let's go ahead and check out the 3D settings. So right now we have image scaling is off. Ambient occlusion is also off. But we need that on. Let's set that to performance. Like our drivers are up to date. Thank you NVIDIA for telling me. Okay, let's go back to NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so we're actually running a 1080p 360 hertz. That's what I run. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade to a 1440 4K 360 later, once they come out. Um, let's go to this. Let's go for, we'll turn it on, because I don't, I can't decide which one. I want it balanced. Turn that on for FXAA, anti-analyzing. Make sure that all of our CUDA cores are working for GPS. Make sure that's set to all. We got DSR smoothness, 33%. We got DSR factors of four, times four. G-Sync is on, max frame rate should be all the way to the top. That should be just completely maxed, whatever it can do. Okay, low latency mode is off. You can turn that on. Preferred refresh rate, highest available. Texture filtering is on quality. Let's see if we can change that to performance. Yes, we can. We can change it to performance. Thank you. All right, next, virtual reality is on one. Fritted optimization. Most, most people have this on off. It's good to have it on on. Apply. OK, 
Okay, now we go down to just check on things. Just, you're just basically scrolling through. This is for the coloring, rotate display. Okay, I think we're good here. Full. So now that we've adjusted everything and the settings look okay, let's actually test this in a game and let's see what kind of frame rates we're getting. Let's see what kind of temperatures we're getting and let's see if this graphics card is really worth the $1,200 to $1,100 which you're gonna pay for a retail for this card. Okay, so it seems like we're in the game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and apply the NVIDIA filter, which is really good. All you have to do is go Alt-Z on your keyboard and you go over to the far left right here. Hold on. Okay. Gotta do a reset. An old Z. Gonna go to game filters. So you're far left right here. And we're gonna add filter details, which means we can adjust the picture quality. HDR toning, you wanna have that like maxed. Take all of your bloom off, have your clarity up, and have your sharpen all the way up. Now take a look. See, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. All right, next. Old Z, get back into the NVIDIA information, specifications, whatever you wanna call it, settings. Uh, go to performance, and you can see our far left. We are currently at 2505 uh, GPU clock. Temperature's at 32 degrees, which is very, very low. GPU voltage at 0 0.9 volts. Uh, memory clock is 11201 megahertz. Fan speed is zero. The fan hasn't even kicked on yet because it's not even warm enough, I guess. GPU power is at 46, CPU is at 18%. Okay. Let's go ahead and do an overlay of it. Okay, so it's in the top right corner. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but NVIDIA, actually, the Warzone has frames per second on here. Most games don't, because they don't really give enough about performance, but Warzone does care about performance. Uh, right now we're hitting about 140, 150 frames per second. We're not actually really into the game. So let's go ahead and get into the game. Uh, let's get some singles on. Okay. Let's do some solos. Yep. But before we do, Lola, let's go to settings real quick and let's take a look. So there's some actual things we can do in the game to make sure that we're getting the most out of this. Okay, we want everything on kind of high settings. Lola, no! It's kicking in now, so it's working fine. Alright, All right, settings wise. Uh, so I think we want to put everything on kind of like on high. I don't want to go with like ultra. We've got NVIDIA Reflex low latency on with boost, that's good. Okay, let's see if it's got a DLSS 3.0. I'm seeing DLSS right here. I'm assuming that's the most, most latest one. Go ahead and apply that. Oh, 
My screen refresh is good. Frame rate's unlimited. V-Sync is off. We got on 2.2 2, 2 RGB. Okay, apply. Let's go ahead and get into the game. Currently seeing at 120 frames per second uh, with high settings. time for the performance test. So let's go ahead and put on the um, actual... Let's get into Warzone and you can see our top right corner we have the performance settings. So right now we're currently sitting at 3550 watts per power draw where it's idling. It can fluctuate when you get into the game of course. We're using it. So actually getting into game right now 195 frames per second top left corner. So we're averaging about 180, 190 frames per second. Uh, GPU temperature is at 37 degrees. And as you can see, it is not, it is not smoking. There's no smoke coming from the connector. There's, it's good to go. All right guys, thank you for showing up. Subscribe, smash the like, drop a comment. See you in the next one. So as you can see, we're getting 120 frames per second. 130 frames per second. Remember, this is on high settings. Look at the graphics, they look really good in this game. Yeah, very very impressive. 140 frames per second on high settings. So yeah, I'm, I'm okay with this. This is on high settings, 140 frames per second. We do have DLSS on, yes. Um, okay, people, thank you for showing up today. This, look at the size of that graphics card down there. Take a look. What do you think? It's massive. <laughs> but it lasts me a while, huh? Yeah, it should last you at least another five years. <laughs>